Hey cycling community, to coin one of my favorite YouTubers, you know who this is, Steve Grusis, the Cycling Greek. The reason I'm speaking to you like this rather than doing a voiceover from yesterday's workout is because when I went to go turn on my Garmin Verb, there was no juice. So I juiced it up, it's the day after, and here I am. I first started working with Dan around the middle of November last year. He was at his maximum or near his maximum weight of 312 pounds. One of the first things that we did was a 20 minute time trial test. One reason, so I can establish his uh, training zones and for another to establish a before picture of where he was. He averaged 221 watts. Seven months later, he did another 20 minute time trial test uh, a couple days ago and he averaged 291 watts. That's 70 watt increase over seven months. Very proud of him. Now he got there because he worked his plan. He worked his plan because he had a goal. And when you're working your plan, it's not always thrills. You're not always doing race simulation with the group, sprinting to the next county line. You're often training by yourself, or in yesterday's case with a small group, with a specific workout with things that you need to accomplish for that particular workout. So let's talk about yesterday's workout. It's pretty much the same as the workout that we did in episode four, a paceline workout. The only difference is we went faster. So where last week's workout were 60 second pulls in which we were pulling at about upper endurance pace and this was going on for uh, uh, two and a half hours to two hours, 45 minutes. Uh, this week's, so yesterday's workout, we were doing 30 second pulls and we were going faster. So we were pulling at about uh, tempo to steady state, you know, depending on the person. And when we go back in line, we were covering it at about endurance, upper endurance uh, level. And we did this for about uh, two and a half hours plus. Now yesterday's workout was a little more challenging because it was a little bit faster. The wind seemed to be a little bit stronger and the temperature was at least as warm. So it was not the smoothest of workouts, particularly in the first half of the workout. At the second half, then things got a lot smoother. But there were some other glitches that we ran into. So hopefully next week when we do the same workout at the same speed, or maybe a little faster, I'm still uh, uh, playing with that one, hopefully the glitches will be gone and we'll be able to get the full benefit of that workout. Even still, with the glitches that we had from yesterday, we accomplished what we needed to accomplish. So the week after is going to be an active rest week for Dan because at the end of that week is going to be his goal road race. During that active rest week, he's going to do some easy spinning. He's going to have two group rides that are going to be very short but very fast. And he's going to have time off the bike. As I sign off now, what I'd like you to do is comment below as to the goals that you have, the plans, and how it's going. If I get enough of those, then I'll do a video on those. And also remember, like and subscribe, The Cycling Greek.